Okay, what we're faced with is a tree that's not in great shape in an area that is used by lots of children and others. We have an arborist who is telling us that we should restrict activity beneath the tree. And so far he has told us that he feels so strongly about that that there should be fencing around the tree. So I know there have been a ton of emails and statements made, but I think what everybody sitting up here is concerned about is a public safety issue. Is this tree safe? Um, now, the way, the way, and we have the, the uh, Arborist report, John Lindsay's report, has been posted on the website for, well, basically since a few days after we got it. So anybody can read the report for themselves. Um, but I think what you had up there were, was a good share of the report in the, in the PowerPoint slides. Mm -hmm. I think Mr. Fowler was just turned off. Did you just turn it off? <laughs> you might want to go back to it. So that's uh, so we we have a safety issue now. The the history is that uh, Councilmember Cass, Mr. Lott, and uh, I did speak to the chairman of the Shade Tree Commission about this tree because the Shade Tree Commission had uh, recommended that the tree remain. And we expressed our concern about public safety. Um, that conversation, I won't go into it in great detail if I don't have to, but it did not go really well. Um, but for those of you who are concerned, trying to figure out why this council would think about abolishing the Shade Street Commission that has existed for a hundred years, I think you just need to know that under this statute that established the Shade Street Commission, the Shade Street Commission has exclusive control over borough trees. And there is no way. There is no way. So, uh, I know there have been suggestions that there's an ulterior motive uh, 